What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers who said things they regret. This should be a very, very interesting one. I'm sure wrestlers have said plenty of things. We all say things, actually, not even just wrestlers. We all say things that we regret. But it's different when you're working for a huge company like WWE. You may want to be careful with what you say. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, what uh, some of these WWE wrestlers had to say that they, I'm sure when they, they realize, I, oh, I made a mistake. Let's get right into this one. Should be a great one. I should have never opened my mouth about the Chris Benoit thing. We all say things we regret. Yeah. Unfortunately, <clears throat> these wrestlers said things on live TV that they could never take back. This is one of the darkest things said by anyone in WWE. In 2005, WWE brought back ECW for a one-time event with a pay-per-view called One Night nice Stand. A lot of the original ECW members were part of the show, including the controversial Mike Awesome. Awesome was hated by some former employees of ECW due to him leaving the company and signing a contract with WCW while he was still the ECW champion. Uh... This is what Bobby Joy style to say this on commentary. Suicide dive by Mike Awesome, and it's a shame he didn't succeed in taking his own life. This oh, <laughs> definitely could not say that now on television because, yeah. Ooh. Very infamous line less than two years later. In February 2007, Mike Awesome was found dead at his home as a result of hanging himself. Joey Styles hasn't publicly commented on this, but he has to regret what he said. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. You gotta be, wait, what? This would become a very infamous line less than two years later. In February 2007, Mike uh, Awesome was found dead at his home as a result of hanging himself. Joey Styles hasn't. Damn. Sheesh. That's crazy. Publicly commented on this, but he has to regret what he said. If you're a wrestling fan, I would hope you've so. more than likely seen this clip. We want the gold, sucker! Hulk Hogan! Hogan. We, we coming, coming for you, you nigga! <laughs> Fucking, I hope he don't regret that, because that's one of the greatest clips of all time. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga! Don't regret that, Booker T. It's great. <laughs> Let Hulk Hogan know we coming for that, nigga. Booker T dropping the N-word on live TV has become an infamous but popular clip. Most fans and wrestlers weren't upset by the unfortunate slip, but yeah. Booker T himself actually regrets it. Immediately, it was the worst day of my life. I, I okay. cringed. I cringed. I, and I, 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 I cringed when I said it. I mean, I, I literally like chills went through my body and I was like, oh, God, God, what did I just say? And the thing is, what's not ironic about it, that's the word that I used to use like on a regular basis, like every day, you know, in my neighborhood where I grew up. Yeah. It, it was common. It's just something that we said. But in the wrestling business, until that day, none of my peers had ever heard me use that word. Black guys or white guys. No one had ever heard me say that. WWE. That's crazy. Well, look, Booker T. We understand he was he so he was in the moment. He was selling that promo. We get it, bro. It's it's okay. I, from a black person to another black person, I just want you to know, it's okay. You don't need to regret that. That's one of the greatest promos ever, and it was a slip up. But it made that much, it made it that more believable. And I love you for it. It's okay. <laughs> Fired this guy for what he said on live TV. In 2012, Titus O'Neil and Darren Young, the primetime players, were being matched by a man named AW. During matches, AW had a headset on that allowed fans to hear his trash talk. Unfortunately, I think I remember this. Something he should not have said. Titus O'Neil is like Kobe Bryant at a hotel in Colorado. He's uh, unstoppable. Yeah, I remember this vaguely. Oh, brother, that was not good. This was referring to an incident in 2003 where NBA basketball player Kobe Bryant forced himself onto a 19-year-old hotel employee. Of course, this wasn't something to mention in a positive light, and WWE quickly apologized on air. We would like to apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for the remarks made by AW moments ago. AW explained on the Wrestling Inc. podcast what happened after he got backstage. I got to the back, and um, that's when I felt the heat, you know, and was kind of staring. Vince was over in his position, you know. He didn't look up or say anything. I was called to the back, and I was told that wasn't very good what I just did. And then they let me know that uh, I had uh, really messed up, and I had to just sit in the locker room and think like, oh, my God, you know, what has happened? 
AW. Yeah, he definitely. He, that's like, oh. Hmm. You fucked up, my boy. <laughs> was soon fired from WWE for the instant, but said he's regretful and apologized to WWE. It may have seemed harsh, but other WWE wrestlers felt the firing of AW was appropriate. I don't like to see anybody lose their job, but if anybody's justified in getting fired, you know, making fun of the great, I don't think it's funny. What this wrestler said. <laughs> it's very ironic. <laughs> Nigga CM Punk and got fired from both companies. Obviously, different circumstances in AEW WWE, but that's a very ironic clip. Caused his entire career to derail. In 2007, Chris Benoit took his own life, as well as the lives of his wife and son. In the aftermath, yeah. a ton of negative attention was brought on to WWE and its wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kennedy, who was involved in a major storyline with Vince McMahon at the time, did an interview with Fox News. Unfortunately, this question was asked. Um, you don't take steroids? No. You don't think there's a steroid problem in wrestling? I think that there was a steroid problem at one time. You don't think there is anymore? I don't think there is you anymore. Don't think I... Not long after saying this, it would come out that Mr. Kennedy, along with multiple wrestlers, did receive steroids. Mr. Kennedy was suspended for 30 days, and while he did return, his career was never the same after. Mm -hmm. A few more mistakes would ultimately lead to Mr. Kennedy being fired from WB in 2009, and yep. he's never been welcomed back. This aged yep. like milk. During John Cena and The Rock's feud in the early 2010s, Cena would constantly take shots at The Rock for being a part-timer. Uh -huh. You're the WrestleMania host, Rock. That's your role. Know it. You tell these people that you love them. I'm here every week to show it. A few years later, Cena would appear in WWE less and less as he yep. focused more on his movie career. John Cena yeah. had turned into exactly what he criticized The Rock of becoming. And that's the crazy thing. He criticized him, and he became the same thing he criticized. And he had to come out and admit he was wrong. He regret doing that because at the end of the day, you're doing the same thing that he's doing now. So. When confronted with his back, Cena said this. With great respect, in the lead up to uh, WrestleMania 28, you talked a lot about how The Rock wasn't there every single week. Yes. And you were. Yeah. What do you say to wrestlers that say, you're kind of doing that right now? You're I say they're 100% they're right. I'm sorry, I was wrong, and I spoke out of ignorance. I told this to him that I'm sorry, and I can tell mm -hmm. it to you, and I can tell it to you. I spoke out of ignorance, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. So for any WWE person right now saying, you're a part-timer, you're, you're going to uh -huh. Hollywood, they're absolutely right. And if they can't see why I'm making those moves, I don't expect them to. I don't expect to change their mind. In Nikki's defense. And and kudos to John being a man and admitting he was wrong and apologizing to The Rock and anyone that feels that way. Because, I mean, he's literally doing the same thing. He is. He's not there. He's. I mean, we've seen him recently and it's been awesome. But we know he's going to end up going back to Hollywood at some point. He's not going to be there all the time. And that's okay. It's just... Him being aware of what he said in the past and how things have played out definitely deserves to be taken into consideration. She didn't feel comfortable saying this. In 2011, Karma made her WWE debut. However, it was short-lived, as she would later discover she was pregnant and couldn't compete. Karma gave an inspiring speech on Raw about accomplishing her dreams and announcing that she was going to be taking time off. However, Nikki and Brie Bella interrupted and said this. Yeah, looks aside, you're as big as a blimp. That guy must have been hooked with a seatbelt. The Bells made other yeah, distasteful jokes, damn. and while they looked confident on TV, Nikki Bella wasn't. And I just remember feeling like shit, and I went with what they said on paper. Yeah. I hated that feeling. It, it was so wrong, and I was like, I don't want cheap pops from the crowd anymore, and especially yeah. if it's not approved by the woman. None yeah. of these WWE wrestlers approved of fans touching them in a Oh, we've seen that. See we've that? seen this video. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wild one. Just think of radio and like, go ahead. Do that shit, girl. You know you like to. <laughs> but nah, man. Uh, uh, yeah, especially if it did get approved by uh, the person they're talking about. Yeah, that just kind of came off cringe and, and, and not in poor taste, obviously. Going for low-hanging fruit, try, talking about the looks and all this other stuff. Especially, and kudos to them. They, I'm sure they didn't feel comfortable with doing it. But, I mean, you're given a job. Read the fucking script. Go out there, and that's it. That was literally what they wanted him to do, and they did their job. So, um, but this was a, <clears throat> a very interesting video. The the Joey Style one, I definitely didn't know about. That's kind of wild. Him saying that, and then that actually happened. I'm not gonna obviously mention it how YouTube is now, but <clears throat> that that's definitely a wild one for sure. I did not know about that. So comment down below. Let me know some uh, other. 
are situations where wrestlers said some things that uh, you feel like they probably regret in hindsight. I'm still off for Booker T saying what he said in that infamous promo. Don't ever, ever be uh, upset about or regret saying that, Booker T. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next week.